All right, today we will be looking at the Forza module change series, starting with figure number one, base states Forza. He comes with the rocket module, launcher, drill, and radar. The Forza module change series is a budget line of figures from Bandai of Japan. They are similar in scale to figure arts, but not quite the same quality in terms of articulation or detail or paint. But they are still pretty good figures and the Forza Module Chain series in particular is better than past series. Um, it's very close to figure, figure arts in size and I believe the Forza series is the first to feature compound eyes like was hideously noisy, like the figure arts. Um, hopefully you can see that on the camera. This figure features nice silver and orange paint. It's still sufficiently detailed, but compared to other figure arts I have, it's not quite as detailed. I do not have any Forza figure arts yet. I decided to go with the module change series because it comes with all of the little modules, and it will be a lot cheaper to collect them all compared to figure arts. As far as I know, the detailing is similar to the show. Um, there are not, these are not panel lined compared to the figure arts rocket. So it, some of the detail may be a little harder to see. One thing I really like is the ease at which these attach. Each of the little, I don't even know what these are called, but each of the attachment points on his arm just slide onto or into the modules. Um, launcher, as you can see, has two empty spots. It has a springy switch. The top two missiles are spring-loaded firing missiles. However, I did not want to lose them, so I have not... I left them in the package and don't even have them plugged in. It is nice they included two extras, though, if you do lose them. Drill does not spin, and radar, which folds back and forth. The, the modules attach very easily. There's a slight click to let you know when it's in place. The figure has quite decent balance. You can probably get it to pose on one foot. Eh, not bad. Um, as you can see, it has fairly decent articulation. There's a little bit of rock in the ankle. It has up and down. Um, it has a s single knee joint that goes to about maybe a little over 90 degrees. Thigh swivel, ball jointed hip, um, single elbow joint, again about 90. Bicep swivel, pretty universal shoulder. It has a wrist swivel and articulated fingers. I do prefer the figure arts manner of having multiple hands the finger joints on base states are pretty snug. Um, on my Lex states, they're not quite as tight as I would like. He has a hard time holding um, his Lex device. I don't even remember what the pose looks like in the show. Um, does okay getting some of the poses. So maybe my stand is going to be tight enough to hold him up. Limit break rocket drill. And there we go. Um, still, it's a nice figure. The paint on the belt is very simple. It's all done in one color as opposed to the figure art. Um, I shouldn't talk about the figure arts because I don't have one. In theory, I like the idea that the switches are removable, but I think in practice that's going to be a pain. But I do like that each of these figures comes with uh, four modules, whereas the figure art only comes with two, and you have to buy the module sets to get additional modules. And they're very interchangeable. Um, I have a couple of switches from other figures. I do not know what this one is called. I'm not caught up on Forza. 
but now he appears to have a faucet on his leg. And that's all there really is to base states. Um, yeah, we'll be right back with the LEC. LEC states. As you can see, it features the LEC module in the form of Billy the Rod, camera, chainsaw, and hopping. Um, hopping has a little spring-loaded gimmick on the tip. The chainsaw folds in and out. The viewfinder on the camera rotates, and my hand is in the way, and Billy Rod does nothing that I know of. Um, I like elect states. It's So far, as I've seen in the show, it's my favorite form. Um, this figure is a decent colored yellow, but it is nothing like the gold color that the figure is, or that the character is in the show, and that the figure art is supposed to be. Um, still, it's a nice figure. Uh, Chainsaw is kind of a cool little module. Same articulation, nothing changes. Um, it's got nice blue, electric blue compound eyes. And there's not really much to say about it beyond that. But it's a fun figure. It's Fire State comes with, I believe this is called Beat, Gatlin, Shield, and his fire extinguisher blaster thingy. Not sure what to call it. Uh, fire States is actually a much better looking figure than I expected this form to look. It's a nice red. Looks like it's molded in that color. Silver highlights on top of it. The eyes are a nice green compound effect. And there is no action feature in any of these modules except for Gatlin. It spins or rotates with some difficulty. And this extends for his alternate attacks. Again, that's really all there is to Fire States in the Forza Module Change series. Four more modules to add to your collection. I really like the look of Magnet States. The figure art is a nice metallic silver. This is a very flat, plasticky looking silver. It looks like the figure was cast in that color. But the red and blue are very nice metallic colors. It's got nice orange compound eyes. And he only comes with two modules because, well, I guess the magnets count. He's got two big magnet switches there. The, he comes with whatever this switch is called. I don't know, but the wheels roll nicely. And I don't know what this one's called. This is nicely hinged. It has four hinge joints, including the fingers, and several swivel joints. One there, one there, and one there. So it's very articulated, so that's nice. I don't know what the point of having a hand on your foot is. I have not seen this far in the show. And the magnets are removable, so you can form the big magnet dealy. I don't know what the purpose of it is. Someday I will start catching up on Forza. I am currently watching far too many TV shows. My cousin and I just finished watching Star Trek, the original series, season 3. I'm marathoning through Dexter Season 1 so that he and I can start up on Season 2. I'm watching Kamen Rider Ryuki with my wife. I'm watching Kamen Rider Kabuto. And Forza. I'm also watching through Samurai Sentai Shinkenger, the Go Busters show on occasion, and Akiba Rangers and possibly others. Oh, Battlestar Galactica. Great stuff. But it doesn't let me progress in any of them very quickly. Anyway, that is Magnet States. He does not have any weird head articulation like the figure arts does. One thing that is interesting about these that I should have mentioned earlier, the way they do the eyebrows is they are clear plastic all the way back to the helmet. So they're very sturdy. They're not going to break off. And then just the front edge of them is painted silver. That is the same for the more regular states as well. 
All right, one more module change series figure that I currently own is the SP set, which consists of all of the modules you see here. And Forza in base states, stealth mode. <clears throat> I could not even begin to name most of these modules. Um, medical, I believe this one is called. It has a opening gimmick. Uh, this looks like a little mini fridge. But again, I don't know what it is because I have not keeping up on the series. Scissors. This is articulated. And here we start to see my problem with this set. The articulated bits are very bendy plastic. This lower one is very rigid plastic. The top one, soft, bendy. Do not like um, claw. Looks like it might have a hinge of some kind, but maybe not. But again, the claws are soft, bendy plastic. Why? I do not know. A shovel? I don't know, but it spins. Net? Don't know why. Looks like it has two hinges. This one is also not soft bendy plastic. Why are the other ones? I don't understand. Oh, it also swivels this way. That's neat. A little green square, rectangle. Why? No idea. Um, croquet mallet. Actually, I think it's called hammer. This thing. This water faucet thing. Pen. No ink included. A flashlight, I believe. Smoke. Smoke not included. Spike. Um, I wish it had a alternate version, the way the spikes extend when he actually kicks somebody with it. But still, cool set, or cool module. I do not know what this is, but it does that. I also do not know what this one is called, but the... Morning Star attaches to the module. That's cool. And then it's got a real metal chain. It's a nice copper bronze color. And then Magic Hand is also very articulated. There is a hinge here. And here. These open and close. So two more hinges. This is a hinge. And then it swivels there. And it swivels there. This is all soft bendy plastic, particularly the claws. That kind of annoys me. And it's also kind of heavy and makes them a little unbalanced. But now he can reach things on the top shelf. Um, the stealth figure is very cool. Very classed in completely transparent plastic, except for a few uh, places that needed extra strength, like the ankles. The stealth module does come off. I like that it's modeled vaguely after the F-117 stealth fighter. Um, even the paint on it is slightly translucent, so you don't lose the effect. The black, the orange. His eyes are still compound. It's pretty neat. The slightest amount of orange on the bodysuit. I really like the translucent look of this figure. And I probably would have bought it just for that. And it was you know, great that it came with all of the modules. It also came with the neat flag that you've seen in the background for the Common Rider Club. And it also includes a flagpole. So you can prop it up. There is one other Forza module change set that I wish to get. It's actually on its way to me right now from Mandarake. Great place to buy used import toys. Um, I bought all of these for around 1500, maybe 2000 yen each, um, except for this SP set. But I believe it was only about 3000 yen, so not too much more expensive. Um, they're lots of fun. I have enjoyed switching modules around, playing with them, trying to make them do wacky things like stand on one foot. I highly recommend them. 
Um, like I said, I have one more on the way, Cosmic States, that has the last four of Forza's modules, and then I believe that is all of them. There is also a Meteor and Meteor Storm figure in this series. I am not going to get them, even though Meteor comes with his motorcycle, which is kind of neat. I will probably just wait and get the figure arts, even though these are much cheaper. Um, but there you go. The hook also extends on a cord. That, in so many words, is the Forza Module Change Series. I also have the O's Combo Change Series, which is the previous one. They are not bad. I do like that they have the form change gimmick where you can mix and match the different coins, although I'm pretty much going to just display them in full combo mode because I like those more. These are better figures than those. Um, the, the, the joints are a little tighter. The joints are much tighter. Some of the O's figures are very loose. Um, again, the compound eyes make it look better. It just It's a better quality series than the older ones. I recommend them. They're a great alternative to the figure arts. Thank you for watching, and this is kind of fun. I will probably do this again with some other fun toys.